So it came with the Gen 2 connector, and my plan was to use the 1450 and the NEMA 1450 adapter for the Gen 2 connector. So um, that worked out really well, except for I like to keep that Gen 2 mobile connector in my car. So every day I had to unplug it, right? I would leave the 1450 adapter plugged into the RV extension, and I would just pull it from the, the, um, the boot part, and where it says Tesla and it lights up, I would just drop that down because it's actually pretty easy to put in and out. And then I would wrap it up and put it in my trunk every day. Every morning, every night, I would take it out of my trunk. It was actually pretty easy. Oh, the only thing is, is when it's raining, it's wet and then you're putting it in your car, right? The second thing is, it's taking up a lot of space in the, in the uh, trunk area on the bottom and I'll show you that in a second. And, um... So I didn't really like that because it kind of took away some of my storage or places I could put things. Also, I couldn't put anything down over the, um, the trunk because I had to get down to the lower compartment every single morning and every night, right? So it took away some of my functionality. So I found this Gen 1 connector. I'll show that. Um, on eBay. They're hard to find these days, especially with a 1450 adapter which used to come with it actually the 1450 came with it as well as a 110 and so um came in the exact same kit that they would have gotten in the original gen 1 and um so i bought it because it was really cheap compared to what i've seen it before it's cheaper than a lot of things it was like 265 dollars it came out to like yeah i'll, I'll show you i i can't remember exactly off the top of my head so that will stay plugged in now my mobile connector can go back into its bag, and that way I'll always have it with me, but I won't be taking it in and out. The other thing is, I felt like it was getting kind of worn out, but taking it in and out and pulling it out of the thing, out of the adapter every single day, and so it was wearing, um, and I want that one to stay nice and stay with the car, because if I do sell the car, that needs to go with the car. So now I won't be wearing it out. Um, I got an, a thing for my house so that is the reason why I switched over to the gen 1 adapter so this was my charging setup it's locked down here I got an RV extension that then was wrapping to a uh, cable holder right here and that was just wrapped around that and then I basically looped it Know how well you can see this created a loop that then went through this hole and you can see the plug back behind this this is my new gen 1 receiver um, and so the idea is to get the gen 1 receiver so it can come out and I can actually lock it here so nobody can pull it off by screwing in some connection or some um, cable clamps and it needs to come out here and reach out to my car. Right now, for my car to stay on the concrete, this has got to move up to about where that hole is. So I had to also paint this brown so it doesn't look quite as bad. It kind of hides it a little better. All right. And um, we'll see how it looks when I get done. I'll probably go back over it with some more paint. But, um, yeah. Okay, so there's my old Gen 2 connector. There is my Gen 1 connector that's now hooked. It's got a little bit of tension, but that's the same as I've had with my Gen 2 since owning the car, and it's been fine. This is the setup. I couldn't move it up quite as far as I wanted to. The irrigation system had a pipe right where I wanted it. In order to clear it, I had to come way out here, about right here. That's just a little too far. So I went just on the other side, the back side of it. So... Gen 1 connectors into the 1450 connector. Those will come over here onto this hook and I'll get that and I'll get a picture when it's final. 
And then I used some some of this stuff that came with my old Tacoma truck bed put under the clamps so that it wouldn't damage the cable. I think this is it's pretty tight, but it's not too tight. That's why I didn't screw it all the way in. It made it just the right tightness. It'll be all right. And I went ahead and put a second one down there just to keep it stable so that it's not pulling against this when I am pulling the cable back that way. Or say if a deer or something actually trips on the cable, it's gonna tug at this mount before it tugs at this one that's not fully seated. So, and it'll keep this a little safer if all the tension's coming from this cable. Put the same stuff there. So, I'm gonna RV extension here from the box. And I'm going to be getting a, um, a Tesla, it actually came with a thing to hold this, but as you see, I'm not going to use it. So I might actually buy another, um, for the, the piece to go into, for this to go into when it's stored, since I will be keeping this up here for the whole time. And so I might actually get another one. That might have been a waste of money from buying that because I'm just clamping it like so on the cables, which I think is secure. I don't think it's going to damage it. So as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. With the brown color, it actually hides it pretty well. So we shall see how it comes out when I get the rest of the stuff. Until I get my piece to mount the actual part that goes into the car, which is this piece right here, it will actually kind of, it'll mount up like this into a, a holder. I might even put it up here. I'm not sure yet. But until then, I simply just pull it out of the car, wrap it as I walk back, which is really easy, and just hot hang it over that cable holder. It actually came out really well. Every day, I was throwing it in there. It was going over my Trader Joe's bags. I got my 110 extension cord in there in case I go somewhere where I can plug in long distance to a regular wall outlet, just in case. But this is the bag that this came with. So now I can clean this out and it'll stay clean. So I won't be taking See all the dirt that gets in there from the grass on the Gen 2 connector? So, 110, I can get this organized. Alright, and so you can see the wear. It's just getting pretty worn out, I feel like. stays back here it doesn't move because of this stuff on the bottom that is a really good idea by the way it does it did all right now i'm actually vacuuming this and it'll stay clean mm -hmm.